usually they're just simple little screws. And now you've what, voided the warranty. <laughs> yeah. What warranty? Okay, let's hope it's not too many more here. That's why I was going to use the power drills to make this a little faster. But Okay, so this is the back. Obviously, this most important thing here is the fan and uh, the power uh, and a bunch of little um, peripheral things there for keyboard and mouse and stuff like that. What else is on here? Okay, so we slide this off. Wow, this one even has has a little diagram in here of what's in here. <laughs> That's pretty neat. And so what's in here are assistive power supply. And then, let's see, there's basic floppy disk stuff here. Um, and usually over here will be a set and there's two things. One is the basic motherboard that's in there. That's kind of the, the mother of all boards. Why do they call it a motherboard? Um, let's see. And then there's usually a set of uh, cards that go into this. These, a lot of the cards deal with uh, peripherals. So this one, for example, is an ether Etherlink 3 card, so this is to connect it to the, uh, to the internet. And so here are some, uh, uh, what do you call these things? PCI? Yeah, PCI slots, slots to put in extra cards. And the main board down here is the motherboard. And probably right there is the CPU. So this is an Intel 486. Anybody heard of a 486? Wow. Okay, so you can pass this around. That's the main brain. That'd be like breaking your cranium open and just popping your brain out. When I was an undergraduate, is, um, one thing you want to do if you're an undergraduate in psychology is get a job in a lab to get real experience. When I was an undergraduate, I got a job in a lab uh, doing DNA transfer experiments with rats. We would train one group of rats in a maze and then take the DNA out of their brains and inject it, or RNA actually, and inject it into another group, an experimental group, and then it was a control group. Um, but that involved taking the brains out of the rats. And so literally, I just had to do this with a rat and take the, the cranium off of the rat, pop the rat brain into dry ice, so that's that's why I, I like dealing with computers instead of rats. Um, okay, and actually, this little thing is what is this for? Yeah, it's a heat sink to to keep the thing cool. Uh, but I have a G5 at home, and that thing gets really hot. In fact, I don't need to put heating in our house. <laughs> it has like three or four fans going through that thing. To cool down the CPU. Yeah. Well, the G5 is actually really, really quiet compared to our old G4. The G4 is awful. I hate that thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm constantly turning on sleep because it's so loud. Okay, so uh, this is the motherboard, and so in this motherboard are all the connections of the bus to the um, to the rest of the circuits, and then over here are memory slots. Uh, usually, when I get these, you've taken all these slots out of here. But this is a, oh, and also be very if this was not an obsolete dead computer, and this is your 
uh, don't do that kind of stuff. Um, you have to be a little more careful about how you take it out. Um, but in the old days, I mean, this is incredible, the amount of memory that was actually on here. My first computer had like 256K of memory. It stored, you know, like one icon or something. But that's memory. Um, you know. Then there's cables. Uh, <laughs> cables connect the, uh, you know, the CPU and the things to different peripherals. So this is probably the thing to this floppy drive, which is really dusty. Uh, that's the other problem with these things is that because they've got a fan in them, they're pulling dust through the whole thing. And I mean, imagine if this was your body, you'd be clogged with this kind of dust. Maybe we are clogged with dust, but that's, that's one of the, the main problems with, with computers. I like to um, actually open up my computers every once in a while and just take a vacuum cleaner and dust them out. Then these are the um, floppy disk units. Floppy disks, what are they used for? Okay, so it's kind of an external storage to read and write information, to send it to other people and read programs off of it. Um, though in a way, they're probably going to have computers next to that don't have that have no floppy disks. I mean, why even have a, a CD-ROM drive if you're connected to the internet? Why not just have everything go through the, the internet? Yeah, I, I, the G5 doesn't have a floppy. It just has a, um, a DVD uh, super drive. You might just use those flash memory sticks. Yeah, so, so this is the, the old floppy, and this is the new floppy, the smaller one. And, oh yeah, then there's a hard disk in here. which is basically an interesting idea of, of uh, being able to store things locally for very, very cheap, because memory tends to be more expensive and volatile, but information on the, flop on the hard drive. The G5 that, that I got has uh, you know, a 250 gigabyte hard drive on it, so that now my son can download movies and have all these stupid movies. Okay. All right, well, I don't know if I can get into that very easily, but that's about it. So the basic uh, motherboard in here is the main thing that drives it. Oh, and there is a battery in here. So a little backup, backup uh, clock battery, that computer clock battery, so it knows what time it is. But this actually doesn't have anything to do with the the, the clock speed of the computer is just to have some information to keep the date and uh, time. All right, so I guess that's about it. And uh, then um, read the chapter, and then on Wednesday, we'll talk about humans. Uh, so on Wednesday, um, I wonder if I can get a volunteer to do the same thing that we just did with the computer. Um, and I'll bring my you know, scalpel and uh, a little saw. Okay.